Welcome to the Secretary of State Information Management System, the business entity, which is a mouthful, so it's called SIMS BE for short. It replaces the current 1977 paper-based system. I bet some of you weren't even born yet in 1977. Well, it's been, we've been working to update our system finally. I'm Linda McCullough, your Montana Secretary of State. SIMS BE will simplify all your business filings. File business forms, request copies and certificates, access business in, uh, reports, and more, all online. SIMS BE will make filing business documents more efficient, convenient, and will be accessible 24-7. Save time, money, and get results in minutes instead of weeks, all from your own computer. Not a computer person? You can still file paper documents. The system has gone live on August 22nd. I hope you learn a lot from this webinar, and now I'll turn this over to Sarah Bartow, our SIMS project manager, for further information. Take it away, Sarah. Thank you, Linda. We are really excited to share with you today a brief introduction to SIMS BE. Just a couple of quick notes before we start. All participants have been muted for this session. If you have a question, please post it to the Q&A section of the WebEx Event Center. At the end of the session, we will respond to as many questions as possible within the time frame available. If you have a technical problem, simply submit a request in the chat section of the WebEx Event Center. Our IT team is standing by to assist. Okay, let's get started. Today, we are going to give you a sneak peek at what's new with SIMS BE. We'll explain the importance of authority. We'll walk you through step-by-step -step instructions to register your account and finish up with Q&A. To guide you through our agenda today, I'm happy to be joined by our Deputy of Business Services, Tana Gormley. Thank you very much, Sarah, and good morning, everyone. This webinar slide presentation will provide a brief overview of what's new and what's not with SIMS BE. We will explain the importance of authority and walk you through step-by-step -step instructions to register your account. Responses to questions asked during the webinar are available through the FAQ section of the Help Center on our website, sos.mt.gov. What's new? The new system allows you to file business documents online, such as ABNs, LLCs, and more. Since we'll be using ePass, Montana's secure login. You'll be able to order and download copies online and monitor your business as well as others. Plus, you'll have access to your personalized view of your business activities, also known as your dashboard, which we'll see on the next slide. What's next? Additional features planned for release after launch will also be included in the What's Next section of this page. What's not? Some rare items will still need to be filed by paper, as shown in the list on the right. From the SIMS BE welcome page, you can register or log in with ePass, quickly access common activities such as search for a business or file an annual report under the Get Started section, find answers to frequently asked questions, step-by-step -step instructions, how-to videos, and more through our Help Center. After you register and log in, you will be routed to your personalized SIMS BE dashboard. From your SIMS BE dashboard, you can quickly access frequently used tasks with it, do it now. Access all of your business documents in one place on the My Items tab. Track the status of your documents, including your unfinished business documents. Receive important business reminders. Monitor your subscription services and monitor your online payments. Only authorized individuals or organizations will have authority to file and maintain businesses online. There are multiple types of authority depending on whether you are a principal, service company, or an agent. For existing companies, authority must be established using an activation code. 
Within the past few weeks, you should have received a mailer with an activation code in a bright orange box. Please keep this code in a safe place. You will need it. You will need this code after logging into ePass to register your account with the proper authority. Because business owners and registered agents have different types of authority, a separate account registration process is required for each group. For your convenience, the activation codes recently mailed to you have been color-coded to easily differentiate the process. A separate webinar presentation is available for each group. This webinar will focus on account registration, step-by-step -step instructions for registered agents representing 100 or more entities with a security activation code that's in orange. There are seven steps to register your account. Step one, in the past few weeks, you should have received a mailer with a security activation code in a bright orange box. You will need this code after logging into ePass to register your account for authority to access the businesses you represent. This security activation code will provide registered agents with authorized authority. With authorized authority, you will have the ability to file and maintain documents online for the businesses you represent. Questions about receiving multiple activation codes, missing or misplaced activation codes will be addressed in the Q&A section of this webinar. Step two, to access SENSE-BE, go to our website and click on Business Services. From the Business Services website, click on Login. You can also hover over the SIMS Business Entity logo to view a shortcut menu. Step three, on the SIMS BE website, click Login with ePass on the bottom right of the screen under Register Login. Step four, from the ePass website, if you already have an ePass account to access other Montana State online services, you can log in with that username and password. Otherwise, simply create a new ePass account. After you log in to ePass or create a new ePass account, you will be redirected back to SIMS BE. Step five. Enter your security activation code that you received in the mail. Step six, after you enter your code, create your SIMS BE account by filling in the required user information on the screen. Step seven, you're ready to go. Welcome to SIMS BE. From here, you can view and maintain entities you have been granted authority to from the My Items tab on your dashboard. That wraps up our quick overview. Due to high call volumes, we encourage you to visit the Help Center on our website to quickly find answers to many of your SIMS BE questions. The next two slides highlight some frequently asked questions around the activation code mailers. One of the questions we receive is why did I receive multiple activation codes? There are several reasons why an entity may receive multiple activation codes in the mail. If you own a business and are also a registered agent, you will receive two activation codes, one for your business and the other as a registered agent for the entities you represent. In addition, depending on how your name is registered with our office or the way the address is displayed, may result in receiving multiple activation codes. If you received an orange activation code notice, you will also receive a blue activation code notice to activate your registered agent authority. The orange activation code notices gives you delegated authority to file any business document against that business that you represent. 
The blue activation code gives you RA authority to file registered agent documents against that business you represent. Another question we get asked frequently, I do not have an activation code, what should I do? If you do not receive an activation code mailer by the launch date, please check with your registered agent or service company prior to contacting our office. If you misplaced your notice you received, please email at the address listed, fax at the fax number listed, or mail on your company letterhead the following information. Your business name, the position or role you hold within the company, preferred return method for the activation code, email, mailing address, or fax, contact name and phone number, signature of authorized individual making the request. You must have an ePass account and SIMS BE account set up prior to us granting you authority to the new business filing system. And now, our IT manager, Mark Van Alstein, and I will respond to any questions you may have. Mark? Thanks, Tana. Uh, I don't see any Q&A posted on the site at this time. So if you, uh, if you do have a question, pop one in there and we'll answer it for you. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to turn it back to Sarah uh, to close the presentation. Okay, awesome. Thanks everyone for joining today. Uh, the slides for this presentation are available on our website in the Help Center and a recording uh, will be available shortly with this updated webinar. There's actually one from last week that is out there now if you wanted to review last week's recording. Um, similar to launching any software, we're prepared to assist customers through any challenges that occur. This will be a fresh start for our business services division and we're confident that SIMS VE will allow us to provide even greater customer services for you. Please visit our website to learn more about SIMS VE and do not hesitate to contact us with any questions you have. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.